Hello, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to talk about how you can overcome your limiting beliefs. In this video we're going to talk about what is a limiting belief and how you can identify your limiting beliefs and of course how you can overcome your limiting beliefs so they don't control your life. If you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe because I release new videos on these topics each week so that way you will be notified every time I'm releasing a new video on this topic. And also make sure to follow me on Instagram because I will give you tips and ideas how you can improve your social life and overcoming your insecurities so you actually meet new people in a much easier way. So go follow me on Instagram, I'll reply to all the DMs and I'm doing Q&As each week. So if you have any questions about how you can improve your social life and make friends, then send me a DM or reach out to me, I would love to help you out. So first of all, what is a limiting belief? Well, a limiting belief is a state of mind or belief that you believe to be true, that is somehow limiting your everyday life. This belief can be about you or how you interact with people or how you see the world and how you think the world works. Every time you think, I can't do something because of something, that's a limiting belief. And related to this channel, we are talking about having a social life and meeting new people. So that would be something like, I can't make friends because I'm an introvert. Or I can't find a girlfriend because I'm shy. I can't meet girls because they don't like my personality. I can't start to live my life because I'm too old and it's too late for me. All those are limiting beliefs that will keep you from reaching your full potential and will actually control your life. And that's why it's so important to identify those beliefs so you can actually change that. It could also be other kind of limiting beliefs like I can't find a job because I'm worthless or I can't get in nice shape because it's all about genetics. Those beliefs just keeps you from taking action. Limiting beliefs can have a lot of negative consequences for your life if you're not aware of them. They keep you from making good choices. They keep you from getting out of your comfort zone. They keep you from meeting new people. They keep you from jumping at new opportunities and trying new things out. Limiting beliefs can also keep you in a negative state of mind. So you will actually never live a life that you truly desire. You often see people having a bad mindset because of a limiting belief. For example, it could be that they don't believe in themselves, that they are born with social anxiety or that they are shy and they can't change that. But that's a limiting belief and they have been believing in that all their life. So that's why it's so difficult for them to believe otherwise. So where do a limiting belief come from? Well, they come from our environments and our upbringings, our childhoods, so it could be from your family, your school, the society. All the people we meet have an impact on how we see things and how we think the world works. It could also be at your job that you don't think you deserve the next promotion because you don't feel good enough, that you don't have enough knowledge or experience. That can also be a limiting belief. First thing you have to do is to identify your limiting beliefs so you actually can change that. And that's what this video is about. Because as we talk about, if you don't identify your limiting beliefs, then you can't be aware of them and you can't take any other steps to actually change that. And then you will be in a downward spiral of negative state of mind and you won't change your situation because you don't believe you can actually change. I see it so many times on Facebook groups and forums that people actually deep down believe they can't change because of something. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now is get a pen and paper and write down five to 10 things that somehow controls your life. Some of your beliefs that you have an impact on how you can't get any further in your self-development journey. That could be a limiting belief. Write down some beliefs that you feel strongly about and that have an impact on your everyday life. Group those beliefs into different categories. For example, finance, family, relationships, and health. Then you can maybe be aware of some issues and some beliefs that might control your life right now. That's step one. You need to be aware of them and recognize, could this be a limiting belief? And then the next step will be to test it out because you can not assume things and have beliefs without any experiences. I always tell my clients, if you think something, you need to test it out at least 10 times 
to see if that's actually true. And that's the same with limiting beliefs. You need to test it out, put it in to action and see what kind of outcome comes. Because then you realize if this is a limiting belief of yours and then you can actually change that. It's all about convincing your mind otherwise. Finding proofs that your thoughts are wrong and that you can actually change your situation despite of how you're feeling about it. I call this false assumptions because if you just assume stuff you haven't tested out or you haven't any proof of is true or false, then how would you know? So if you think it's more difficult for you to make friends because you are introvert or shy, then it keeps you from even trying. But if you're worried about going up to people and talk to them, you have to realize that your thoughts and limiting beliefs will only have power of you if you let them. You need to test out and see how things go before you assume things. So if you got rejected three years ago, that has nothing to do with that person you want to talk to here today. Every human interaction and people you talk to is different. You can't assume anything just because you have some bad experience in the past. Because every person is different, every situation is different, every interaction is different. And you can never know how the conversation will go until you go up and try. And that's also actually when you try, you get experiences and you learn how to do it properly instead of just sitting and assuming stuff. Because that's the only way you will test out your limiting beliefs and see that they actually controls your life. And at the end of the day, what kind of life do you want to live? You want to live a life controlled by your emotions and your limiting beliefs, or will you start taking action and try new things out? Also, what have gotten you to the point so far is the results of your actions. So how many more people and great experiences would you have if you didn't have limiting beliefs and thoughts that would actually control your life? And I know this can be a sensitive topic to talk about. I also missed out on a lot of great opportunities in my youth, especially in my young 20s. But you need to change this right now, otherwise you will regret it. So the most important thing is to take action and actually challenge your thoughts and your limiting beliefs so you can actually get past those beliefs and start living a better life. That's it for today's video. If you have any topics you want me to shoot a video about, comment below and then I might shoot a video about that. And then until next time, bye bye.